morning. Welcome to today's video. I woke up later than I planned. Um, I had my alarm set for 4.45, 5, like 5.10. And I did what, once again, you should never do. I'm just going to lay in bed for like a couple more minutes. Don't ever do that. <laughs> that never works. I'm actually really happy that it was only, uh, it pushed me back like 10 minutes rather than the last couple times that happened i woke up like 15 minutes like almost 30, 30 minutes later which meant i had to book it safely of course it really had to be safe this morning because we got a bunch of snow yesterday it's beautiful and then it's snowing again right now i love it all right let's go work out class starts in five minutes my body is not ready but I'm gonna feel so much better after because that that's how it works that's how it works you feel better after it's always worth it Yeah. You want to try again? Uh. Yay! Do you have more? <laughs> you waiting for droppings? Good girl. Was it good? You want some more prune? Yeah. But it's really a matter of getting all of the puzzle pieces to work together. Okay. And so that's kind of how I wrote this plan is what, what supports each other. And I'm ready. Up. Good, good. Do you have something to take some notes? Yep. I have a pen and paper all ready to go. Long time no talk. Chris and I last minute decided yesterday, we've been trying out a bunch of different schedules to try to see what works best for us, how we're most productive, how we feel the best. And I had suggested a while ago trying to do like dedicated days. That doesn't mean like we're not gonna still hang out with her for a little bit, but rather than going like back and forth through the day constantly, to have like a set day that he's with her and I'm working and a day where he's working and I'm with her. Like I'm fully on mom duty that day. And he was originally not for it because I still have to breastfeed her. Like it didn't seem fair to him, which I get. But at the same time, <laughs> having to like get in a workflow and then stop and then get in a workflow and then stop it's just really hard. It's hard to be productive. We are not getting enough, like we're not getting as much work done as we could be getting done. And I feel like we both honestly just get burnt out going from parenting to all of a sudden having to like flip the switch on for work. It's just stressful. And this way, knowing it kind of, it goes both ways. Knowing I have the full day to work and that's my priority is just, I don't know. I feel like it's easier to get stuff done and on the other hand like yesterday knowing that my day 
and all I had on my agenda was to be Emmy's mom, I got to be more present and enjoy all of the time with her rather than being like, oh my gosh, I still have to get this done. Like these are the other things that are on my to-do list. I just got to fully enjoy her and I absolutely loved it. We had a, such a fun day yesterday. Um, Chris got a lot of stuff done. We ended up going, we as in Emmy and I, went and had lunch with my dad and my grandparents and then came home, hung out. We, j we had a really good day. So today, even though we got off to a little bit of a different start, <laughs> we're still figuring out how we're gonna do this. Um, she's with Chris today. I've been getting some work done. I'm gonna go get my nails and toes done. Unfortunately, I don't want to, but uh, they need done. I'm snagging everything. And then I have to come home and finish making the Lululemon thumbnail, because that video is gonna go up tomorrow. So we're having a productive week so far. And I think this schedule is just gonna work a lot better because even he agreed, he was like, yeah, it is really hard to just like go back and forth. And that's what I told him, I'm like, if I have to breastfeed her, like that doesn't bother me. I've, I've signed up for breastfeeding. It's not like it's his fault. <laughs> he doesn't have my boobs to feed her, you know? So I just think this is gonna work out a lot better. Trying to run two businesses and be full-time parents is a struggle. <laughs> um, but we're doing it. We're doing it and we're slowly figuring out what is best for our working relationship, our marriage relationship, being parents, being business owners. Like there's just so many different relationships that need managed. I think this is gonna work out the best, but Regardless, uh, we've got some other stuff to do. Chris just took her to the grocery store to get some stuff. Like I said, I was working on a thumbnail, but I'm gonna go get my nails and toes done, hopefully pretty quickly, and then come home and keep working. I am super thankful. I got a ton of work done this past weekend because I worked basically all Saturday. My mom was watching Emmy and then Chris took Emmy over to his parents to watch the Bengals game and I was working all Sunday too. So I got a lot done. Love that breath. That's my mug. Yeah, what are you gonna do with it? You've never used this. I'm gonna get rid of it. You are, what? That's my past. It's my history. What do you gotta say for yourself? Okay, puppy. Before I take Lulu and probably Emmy on a walk. Um, I got three packages, one being Lululemon from this week's drop. I feel like they didn't really have that much stuff, but they did have this really cute print in the Align pant. It has like limbs, like little trees. I don't know how I can see that, I don't know. I think it's adorable. So I got that and I got the matching Freebie Wild Bra because I feel like that can go with lots of different colors. And then I'm really excited to try these new pieces. Motive has a launch on Saturday. By the time this video goes up, it's already live. Um, if you've been following for a while, you know I loved this stuff while I was pregnant because their leggings are higher waisted, very stretchy. So I could stay in my same size small and they fit me. Like those were the only leggings that fit really well at the end of pregnancy. Um, and it's not like 
a super high rise or anything. It was like the normal legging I was always wearing. Anyway, excited to try these. Uh, this is the Enlighten Bra. I got it in this really pretty olive green. I have matching leggings in that. And then this really pretty blue color. I love it. Alyssa and I were talking yesterday and this reminds us a lot of the gravy color from Lululemon like years ago. One of my favorite colors, I've mentioned that multiple times, because it's so basic. Like it can go with, it can go with so much. I love it. And then they have a new bra. This is the Empathic bra. I'm excited to give it a go. A little bit more coverage, more support. It says motive up the back. So we'll try that. I got smalls in the bras these times. <laughs> these times. I got smalls in the bra, in the bras this time because the mediums were starting to be a little bit too big on me. And then these, I believe these are the same. Yeah, the oath legging, but without, without a front seam. We love that. They added a little glute contour as well. And then they cinched the, or not cinched, but they like tapered in the waist a little bit. And then once again, no front seam. So I'm kind of expecting these to fit like my Vitality leggings, but hopefully a little bit higher. Vitality has started to lower theirs a little bit. They still fit me really well, but I'm hoping these will still fit me during pregnancy. Not that I'm pregnant right now before anyone starts taking guesses, but I loved these leggings during pregnancy. Now that they tapered it in, they might not work as well. Anyway, very excited to try. I love this color. Their leggings are usually a little bit longer too. They normally hit me like a full length legging rather than a 70. This is the green color, same thing. Tapered waistband, glute contour, and no front seam. The Swift jacket. So I have tried this before, but instead of it being a cropped length, I had it in like the really pretty ice blue color in a cropped length, now they are full length jackets. So got it in a size, or size, got it in a size medium, but in the color black. So I feel like it can go with both and it'll be really cute. So I'll have to try these on. Maybe when we get back from the walker during Emmy's next nap, but I'm excited to try their new leggings because like I said, I really enjoyed their leggings, um, their oath leggings that they've had. Hello? Hey, it's me. Um, can I just fly? I'm, I'm struggling. Um, to get this last portion done. Chris is vacuuming. Uh, hopefully you can still hear me. I help send out my dad's invoices, and he has been trying to learn how to do it on his own, but we've been struggling a little bit. So he's going to come over. <laughs> I'm going to show him how to do the last step. So I'll help him send out his invoices. I'm going to take them on a walk real quick. Oh, last but definitely not least. These also launch tomorrow, so these are already live by the time this video goes live. But Amy, she's also a Bomar athlete. She has her own product with Bomar as well. Um, she is launching a sleeve with Hydro Jug in all four, like for all four of the bottles. So the mini jug, the half gallon, the gallon jug, and the shaker. So that is her cute little pattern, pink, white, black. Little lightning strikes. It's electric, yeah. Amy Jo says her, has her little thing at the bottom, her signature. So that is the little unboxing, drinking a Zevia. These are really good. And it's weird to me that it tastes like cola, but that it's clear. Like I just expected it to be a dark color. We are gonna head out on a little lunch date, which I'm excited for. We're gonna go to our typical tacos. Um, where we always had our Friday date nights. So that'll be fun. But I've shared that our breastfeeding journey has just been interesting, like so many ups and downs. We were doing really good for a while. And then I, I don't know if it's because she's teething or what, but she's been more aggressive with my ladies. Uh, so that hasn't been super fun. And then she's like picky with when she wants to breastfeed, which at this point I'm fine. I got a new pump. I like the new pump a lot. Um, but yeah, <laughs> woke up, wouldn't breastfeed this time, so. I'm gonna have to pump and then I'll just feed her in the car. But I heated this up from earlier cause I did already pump earlier today. And I guess I'll show you my outfit real quick cause it's really cute. I also tried on the Motive stuff already and it's fantastic. They crushed it with the leggings. 
Oh, there's snow that melted on our floor. Uh, this is a shacket from I'm not sure where, honestly. I got it for Christmas. A line tank, groove pants. I wasn't going to leave these shoes on, but I might. Unless I find something else. Very comfy, very casual, very basic. The outfits I live in right now. Shacket, tank top that has a built-in bra because it's easy for breastfeeding or pumping. And comfy pants and slippers. <laughs> Love it. What are you sighing about? You know you gotta go in your crate. Emmy's bathing suits got here and they're so cute. And two little hats. Lulu, crate. video it kind of looks like I'm wearing the same thing as I was in that last clip and it's because I basically rotate between like five jackets right now and I just so happy to be wearing the ivory one today but hopefully you enjoyed the video I had no idea what footage was in this vlog um, clearly it's from a while ago but yeah I feel like it's enough it's a little bit shorter than what I normally post but yeah hopefully you enjoyed it Chris is gonna do an updated day in the life he was wondering if you would want to see I'm sure he's gonna do both but I don't know when he'd get around to the second one would you rather see a day in the life when he's working or a day in the life when like being a dad to Emmy is his priority Comment down below which one you'd like to see. Once again, I'm sure he will do both. I just, I mean, it's taken a year for him to do a second one. So it might be a while. So let us know what you'd like to see. Um, I still have to edit the Q&A. Probably we'll start that tonight, but I can't believe it's already February. That's like mind blowing to me. We were supposed to celebrate my mom and brother's birthday last weekend, but they were both sick. So we're doing that this weekend uh, and then we're gonna be in Florida for a little bit, which is very exciting. Emmy's first vacation. We took her to the pool today. It was adorable. She was not having it at first. Just a little, just a little shy. And then she ended up having so much fun. I will see you in the next video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully this is going up tomorrow. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. This was like the world's slowest week. I don't know why it went so slow, but I was exhausted. I shared that on Instagram. It seemed like so many of you were exhausted. So we made it to the weekend. Not that that really means anything for me. I typically work more on the weekends, but we usually have a date night thrown in there. So that's still fun.